One of the best ways to quickly summarize and categorize a large amount of data is to create a pivot table. In this video, we will walk through how to create a pivot table for your analysis. Once you navigate to your data set, we're going to select all of the data that you may want to include in your pivot table. Once you click the cell in the top left hand corner, you can click command shift right arrow or control shift right arrow, depending on if you're a Mac or a PC user and then command or control shift down arrow to select all of the data. Then you'll click insert pivot table. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and just add this to a new sheet. Now you have an empty pivot table and you can select what you want to include in your rows, columns, and values. In this example, I specifically want to compare a student's most recent average sense of belonging score and their GPA. So for the rows, I'm going to go ahead and select GPA for the column, I will add most recent sense of belonging average. And then for the values, I'm going to want a count of the GPA. It defaults to sum here, but I do want a count. And count A is actually typically the best option when trying to get the count of all cells in the range you select that contain any type of information, not just numbers. In this case, for GPA, count would be fine. This only looks at numbers, but it's good practice to use count A. And now you have a pivot table comparing students' GPA and their most recent sense of belonging average score. If you want to dig even further, you can edit the pivot table and add some filters. For example, let's say we specifically want to look at data only for mentees matched in the mentorship program. So we can filter by role to only show mentees and program status to only show those who are matched to adjust the data that you see. Now we only see data for mentees who are matched in the program. And now you know how to create a pivot table for your impact analysis.